Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing swatches of the Kylie Jenner Royal Peach Palette. Now, I originally did swatch video but I never posted it because my brother deleted my swatch video because my iPod had too much storage on it to film videos. So I had to use his iPad mini and he deleted it before I post on YouTube. So I'm going to do swatches today. I have used these shadows. I did a makeup tutorial and I have I haven't posted it. I still got to do this base the peach palettes and see which one I like better. So yeah, let's just get into it. This is what the box looks like. It just has Kylie's eyes on it. And on the back it just says Kylie Press Powder Eyeshadows. And it says the names on the back. And it just says the ingredients. I'm not going to read the ingredients because I just don't feel like it. <laughs> so I'm just going to open it up. This is what it looks like. I wish they could put, like, the, you know this packaging, like, the eyes? I wish they could put on the box. That would be, like, so cool. But it just says Kylie. It says the eyeshadows the back, and it says Kylie XO. And I'm not going to read the card it comes with. It just says, um, I forget what it says. I, I can't, um, I, um, made this because, um, my royal peach look that I wore. And, um, that's my sister E in the background, by the way. In her like model thing, I don't know. And this is what the palette looks like. I have used the brush, as you can see. I'm gonna take the glasses off of it. So far, it's like a really good brush. It has the gold on it. This is what it looks like. And it says Kylie. What I like about the brush is it has the word Kylie and it's in peach. Um, for the peach palette. This brush like kind of reminds me of this MAC 217 brush a little bit. And it's really nice to blend the eyeshadows in. Let me just talk about the palette now. Now it has a mirror which is good because in the bronze palette and the burgundy palette they did not have mirrors. Which is good they have a mirror because if you're buying a $40 eyeshadow palette it should have a mirror. I cannot describe the smell. No, it smells like, I can't even describe it. It's not like, I never like smelled this like, smell in my normal like eyeshadow palettes. Like the Morphe eyeshadow palettes, the BH Cosmetics palettes, the um, what else? Um, Too Faced palettes. I never like smell, the, they don't have like a smell like these eyeshadows do. By the way, I'll show you a close up of the colors. These are what the colors look like. I'm going to do swatches and tell you what I think about it. But I cannot describe that smell. But let's do some swatches. So this first shade is called Sorbid. I find when you like swatch these eyeshadows like in pan. You can see how like they like move around a little bit. But yeah. This will. Can I just swatch it? Wow, they actually swatch pretty good. And it's like an orange, like, this is perfect for fall and summer. It's just like an orange. I wouldn't say it's good for winter because she came out in the, like, in the winter. This is a good shade for the summer. It's like a caramel kind of color, but it's have a lot of orange in it. I think a, it's a really good swatch of the first eyeshadows. Um, the, like a paper palette, like, to wipe my, um, hands off of these eyeshadows. This shade is called Seashell. Love that name. Oh, sorry. And this is a beautiful, like, it's like a beautiful, like, shimmery, purple, like, pinkish color. It's gorgeous. I love the pigmency of it. It is just like a mauve color. I love this shade. So beautiful. This shade right here is called Peachy. And that swatches so beautifully. Kylie's mattes are like really good, you guys. It's like a, what it says, it's a peach shade. It looks, these eyeshadows look so, 
just to remind you, finger swatches are different than using a fluffy brush on the eye. So finger swatches, are you when you do a swatch on your finger, it doesn't like necessarily show up the same um, color as it do in your eyes. By the way, this like swatch doesn't. It looks more like a darker peach, like a maroon peach, a little bit than what it looks like in the pan. This is my, one of my favorite shades in the palette, and I already know what it's called, people. It's called Royal, because it is a royal blue color. And that, oh my gosh, that is pigmented. Look how it swatches on my finger. You guys, if you buy this palette, you are going to love it. You see that blue? I did the tutorials in blue. I find when I swatch this one, it picks up a lot of dust, but it is beautiful. It, these eyeshadows blend nicely on the eyes, and they're really nice. So I really love this blue shade. It's a nice, like, darkish royal blue. I just said. This shade, this shade is called Queen Bee. That name reminds me of that um, Jeffree Star Summer Collection, which is this. And they had um, a lipstick called Queen Bee, which was that hot yellow. I don't have it, but I like to buy whatever I have hot yellow. This shade is a beautiful... Oh, I'm going to push the camera like, a little closer. It's a beautiful like, shade. It is so pretty. It's a beautiful gold. It swatches so nicely on the hand. I love this shade. It is like, it's different than this pigmented shade. It's so pigmented and so pretty. I think, was that one of the colors I used on the tutorial? I'm going to tell you the colors that I used in the tutorial. I used cinnamon. I used um, royal. I think I used a little bit of peach, but then I wiped it off because I didn't like it. Wait, I did use this, I did use this, I did use Peachy, and I used, I think it was that color right there, which was called, <laughs> luckily nothing broke, that honestly scared me guys, oh by the way, these eyeshadows are not like, necessarily placed good, they just like put it in, they don't fully accept in the protected. Seriously, Kylie, you're. Why would you like um put something like it's not like even like see how it moves around? Why didn't you put some on it? I'm not trying to be mean, guys. I'm just showing you my opinion. This is no hate whatsoever. But why did she not put like something under it to make it sick? Obviously, these are going to fall out if you do trap if you travel with this palette. So is this good for traveling? No. I wouldn't say it is because your eyeshadows might fall off. I could be wrong, but, okay, I'm showing you my opinion, people. This is my opinion on it, and I'll do a base video, which I like better than the peach palette than this. But the peach palette, it does, the eyeshadows, like, don't move. That was my sister, by the way. This shade is called Duke. I have no idea what... I'm touching with my pinky. This is a fabulous maroon shade. Picks up a little bit of dust when you swatch it. It's a beautiful, like, maroon shade, as I said. It's beautiful on the eyes. Lid. I, lo I will love to see that on the lid. I just see how the eyeshadows, like, move around. Like, why does it move? Like, it shouldn't be moved because... Kylie's really rich. Why would she not put something under it to, like, make it not move? By the way, this shoe's called Duchess. I think this is what it's called. But this is one of the, oh, God, that's like a foiled eyeshadow. No, let's see how watch. Fabulous. That's, like, the best pink shade out of all of them. It's glittery and pigmented. It looks beautiful on eyes. This is one of the shadows I think I used with this brush. <laughs> It's just fabulous. I love this shade. If you can get your hands on this palette, get it. I have it. This shade is called Sandy.
and Sandy is just a nice matte brown. I have like no trouble with the mattes. The only problem I have with this palette is that the eyeshadows are like moving around. Why does it move around? I wish Kylie would put something under it to make it like stick because I hate paying for like a palette. Well, I didn't pay for it, but I hate like get getting a palette that just it's not worth it, you know? I love this palette and it's worth it, but I just don't like how the eyeshadows just move around. Does anyone comment down below if anyone else has a one of the eyeshadows? Because mine just keeps like moving. By the way, this shade is called Mag um Magelato. Machado? I don't know. It's called but we'll swatch it anyway. And it's like a it's not like the pigments in all of them, but it looks beautiful on the eyes. I've seen a tutorial, a lot of tutorials of this look. It just looks so beautiful. This shade is called North Star. And it's like a beautiful purple color. My sister said that um, this was her favorite color in the whole entire palette. But as North Star, this shade is really pretty. It's called Crush. And Crush is like a matte, like peachy pink. It's not as peachy as this peachy kind of up here. It's like, they look, it kind of looks like peachy, but it's more on the pink tone side. And the last shade is called Cinnamon. And cinnamon is just a dark brown. This is one of the shadows I use on the, this brush, by the way. And I did a tutorial on it, and I will do this watch video before I do the tutorial. So, I this is my completed um, swatch video and review video on the um, Kylie Jenner palette. I just hate how like the eyeshadows like move around. They could just easily like, fall out, but they don't like fall out if you like drop it on the floor it will fall and it probably crack but it was just fall because i was like ah i think all i have to be drop it but i wish they weren't so wiggly i wish she like put something down there just to make make it stick so it doesn't move just compare it to like i'm just gonna describe like a morphe palette this is the morphe 25b palette and it's like as you can see the eyeshadow is like ah don't they don't move they don't move they just like stick there so that was my complete swatch video on the kylie jenner royal peach palette why i recommend it i don't know i can't know this now um you wa watch in the person's video if they can describe the smell because i have no idea what the smell is or you can just read the ingredients on the back and maybe you'll figure out the smell so that was my completed um swatch video on the kylie Roy peach palette why i say get it i think it would be nice like to try and give it a go and i think it's a good palette if you see this be swatches <laughs> by the way they has great swatches I had no trouble applying them to my eyes. The only problem is I wish you put them down so the eyeshadows will stay. So that's my completed review video on the Kylie Royal Peach Palette. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.